Hi, we are in the evaluating phase now. And in this phase, we ask ourselves the question, what possible misconceptions are there regarding eclipses or phases of the moon? And why are they regarded as misconceptions? I found some interesting ones on a site called the Sacramento City College, Department of Physics, Astronomy and Geology. This site is an EDU site, which means it's an education site. So therefore, I know that it's a reliable source of information. The first misconception that I came across was to do with the lunar phases and the names. And often people think that when we, when we mention a first quarter moon, they think that this means that 25% of the moon is lit up. That obviously is not the case. We need to remember, referring back to our understand phase, that the lunar phases have two points named quarters, the first quarter and the last quarter, otherwise known as the third quarter. We need to remember that the word quarter doesn't refer to the illumination of the moon. It refers to which of the four phases the, moon, the lunar cycle is in. We know that the lunar cycle uh, takes 28 days, which is a month, and there are four weeks in one month. Therefore, there are four quarters in a moon cycle, so each week represents one quarter of the cycle. The next misconception I came across was also to do with the moon's phases and people thinking that the moon phases are caused by the shadow of the earth. This is a misconception because the moon is circling the earth and people might think that uh, it's the earth's shadow that's causing the moon's phases, which is understandable as it is quite a complicated um, process. But actually, when the moon is in darkness, it's because that part is out of the view of the sun. So that part is basically just having its night time. It's the same as the earth, but the, the moon takes much longer to spin around once than the earth. And when we watch the phases of the moon over a course of a month, this is how long a moon's day basically is. So the earth's shadow actually does cross the moon we know this from our analyzing phase, which happens during a lunar eclipse. But this only happens during a full moon, when the Earth is passing between the sun and the moon. And that's the only time that the Earth's shadow affects the moon. The last misconception I came across is to do with eclipses. And this one is looking at um, what people believe when they look at eclipses. They, some people think that by looking at any type of eclipse, this, is a this, this can be dangerous. There are two types of eclipses, as we know, the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. And a lunar eclipse is actually always safe to look at uh, because it's, it's safe to look at the moon. No one's ever become blind by looking at the moon. However, this misconception may have come about to do with looking at a solar eclipse because obviously it's looking at the sun and we know that when we look at directly at the sun, this can be dangerous to our eyes. However, when we look at a solar eclipse, there is actually an element of danger in this depending on what stage the eclipse is in. For example, if it's if the a solar eclipse is in a total eclipse, this is safe to look at, obviously because the this the sun is completely hidden, so it's safe to look directly at it. But if it's in a partial eclipse, obviously it's peaking around the side, um, so therefore sun's rays are coming down towards the earth. So to look directly into those sun's rays is dangerous and it's recommended to wear sunglasses. So those are some misconceptions that people may have. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this. Thank you.